Hello and welcome to your 2019 yearly readings. These are general readings for you. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign for more detail on uh, what these readings hold. I am also going to offer you a personalised reading, yearly reading, which is going to be much more specific to you. It allows you to um, progressively go through 2019, have an overview and have a look at the energies that are there for you month by month so that you can plan the year and utilise the energy, not work against the energy but utilise it and understand why you're feeling in a particular way and how best to utilise the energy that is around you for that particular month as you progress through the year. If you would like to have a personalised reading, I'm going to be offering personalised readings for the month of December and January only. That will give you a specific uh, reading for you and have a look at the specific energies that you're going to be working with in 2019 and what's in store for you. If you would like to have a personalised reading, you can follow the link to my website and you can book your reading from there for the month of December and January. So I hope that that will be helpful for you in your planning of the year. I wish you many blessings. Hello my lovely Taurians. Welcome to your 2019 reading. 2019 already. So let's have a look at what's going to unfold for you, what energies you have month by month to work with. This is a general reading. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign. That will give you more detail as well. So I've done a 12 card spread, one card for each month and then I will delve a little more deeply. I'll, throw, I'll pull out another card, I'll shuffle another card as we speak and uh, see if I can get a little bit more detail on what's going on with you month by month. So January sees you the King of Swords, the King of Swords. Now this could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini person that is around you, that is influencing you, that is going to have some sort of impact on you, that is going to be around you, um, that is going to be supporting you. They're just going to be present in, in January, this, this um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person. It for some of you, it also represents the energy and more so I feel what my guides are saying is that it's the energy that is around you. So uh, for you Taurians, where you would normally jump in there and just do, it's it's going to be a real a, an energy of um, new learning. It's an energy of thinking about where to next, thinking about what have I learned, what have I got, where am I going, it's really the thought process but it's a, it, because it's a king of swords it's about being in control of that process, it's about a, um, a thought process that you're wanting to bring about so it's really um, thinking about what is going to be ahead for the year, planning ahead making plans, um, taking charge, taking charge of things, um, taking charge of where you're headed, being more in control, using your skills and knowledge and having an appreciation of how far you've come. So January is going to be a month of reassessment for you um, and reassessment and planning for what's ahead but with confidence and with strength. Uh, that's really interesting. So let's have a look at um, a little bit more detail on that on January. See what's happening there with you in January. Um, it's a real, you're going to feel really strong, really um, know what you're wanting, really knowing what you want to plan for the future, where you're moving to, and having control over the process. For others of you, it's going to be a, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It can be male or female, even though it's a king. 
male or female. Uh, okay, uh, interesting, isn't it? You've got here the Four of Cups, you know, and the Four of Cups is really about re assessing, evaluating what you've achieved, how far you've come, what you've done well, but really then also thinking about planning for new ideas, new plans. Um, new ventures, new goals. So that's going to be very much there for you as well. I like that. So that's really reinforcing where you're at. It's really reinforcing the thought process. So January is going to be very much about planning, about thinking, about using your skills to move, um, move on with that, move on with the year laying out the foundations, laying out the blueprints. I like that. That's what is going to be for you in January. Then you've got February coming up and here you've got the Six of Swords. There is a lot of swords there for you. February is also going to be, okay, January laid my plans, made my blueprint for where I'm headed. February is really looking at the opportunities that are coming your way, looking at what opportunities are there, looking at what direction you want to move in because it's it's as you're moving from one direct one situation to the new. You're moving through this passage of this rite of passage. Um, everything that you've had to do, everything you've done, everything you've been through, everything you've learned is now steering you so you're going to find that February is going to be an energy of um, new opportunities coming your way, being aware that they're there and being aware that you can grab them with both hands and you have got the skills and the knowledge and the ability to take those things on. So they're going to be different things for different Taurians, but this is the energy that's coming in. Opportunities are going to be laid before you, opportunity to move from the old into the new. So it's going to be, February is going to be a transition month, a transition month. Let's get a little bit more detail. Oh, there it is. Ah, look, fabulous, isn't it? Transition month, but you've got the magician and the magician is um, the great manifester. You know, the magician can pull a rabbit out of a hat from out of nowhere, seemingly, you know, flowers and, you know, they, they, they create, they create. And so this is for you being able to create in, in whichever area you want. You've got all the suits there. You've got the pentacles. You've got the swords. You've got the wands. You've got the cups. Everything's in balance. You're moving from the old to the new and now you can create and bring into the new whatever it is you want. So you've thought about it in January, you know where you're going, you know what you want, you know what direction you're moving in. And so February is giving you this opportunity. Okay, let's make it happen. Let's move it forward. Let's manifest it. Let's create it. And remember, you're in control of this process. So February is a real energy. I really like that, a real energy of being able to bring in. There's the opportunities. Now let's create let's let's create a future that we're seeking that we're wanting okay so then it takes us to march and march again another swords the knight of swords so january you've thought about it february the opportunities have presented themselves and you're man you're manifesting you're creating those you're playing a part in creating what you want in the future and then in march you're charging forward with confidence. You're cutting the ties. See those ribbons? You're cutting, slashing the ties of the past. Slashing, that is behaviors, um, old ways of doing things, uh, habits, um, people, you know, whatever it is. So, um, oh, hasn't the light just changed? Isn't that fabulous? You've got this wonderful gold glow. Sun went behind the clouds. That was nice, wasn't it? The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, you're cutting old ways of doing things. You're cutting the old ways, old habits, making way for new things to come in. And it's about, March is about taking action, actually doing it, putting things into place, putting things in place, charging forward. You've done the groundwork. Now it's a doing month. It's a doing month of grabbing these opportunities, these changes with both hands and charging forward, being in total control of that, being fearless 
being fearless in what you're calling in, what you're calling in um, for your future. I like that. I like this energy that you've got here for 2019, Taurus. Beautiful. You've got the pentacles. This is you. This is you. This is your sign, your, your suit, you know, the king of pentacles. Confident. So you're bringing in this change. You're doing, you're doing, but you're feeling really confident about that. You're feeling really confident about what you're doing. You're feeling really confident, strong, you're calling in the abundance. You sit. It's like, you know, okay, I'm going to be sitting pretty here. I'm strong. I'm in control. You've got two kings already in two kings in three months. So you're, you're in control of um, what's going. You're feeling confident. You're feeling grounded. You're feeling ready to call in the abundance that is there, that is there for you, that is meant to be for you. Really good. I really like that. So March is going to be a really dynamic month energetically for you. So utilize that energy. Utilize that energy. April. April is the three of wands. April is new horizons, unexplored, unexplored horizons. And that to me is unex an unexplored, a new way of doing things that like you've never done before, a new way of doing things that your ships come in, time to make decisions, time to have the courage, the, um, the passion, the passion to move forward to you know, the excitement of, of exploring new ways of doing things, the excitement of bringing new things into your life. For some of you too, it's going to be a month of planning a holiday or taking a holiday, going overseas, going on a break, um, taking a vacation to uh, unexplored areas, areas that are new to you, areas that are exciting. Um, so that, that there's that opportunity, but there really is like your ships come in. Your ships come in and, and it's about exploring, being the explorer, trying new things um, in April. You're going to really be driven to, to break out from the, the box that you're in, you know, push the boundaries, push the boundaries that are around you. I like that. Let's have a look here. What have you got? Yep, and that's all going to start happening really quickly. So this is this is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. It's about swiftness. It's about bringing that change in quickly. It's about um, you know if it's it's a month of wands. It's a month of wands, and with that month of wands, you've got um, things happening quickly around you. You've got these changes that are coming in, exploring new areas, new new ways of doing things, um, and and putting those changes into place quickly. Um, being compelled to to bring that change in, so that's April, exciting month. April, May, May it pays off. So it's going to be equal and proportionate to the work you put in. In the first four months of the year, you sow what you 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 sow what you um, sorry you reap what you sow, and so if you've done the work, if you've really ex pushed those boundaries, really explored new areas, then you're going to reap more of the benefits in May. If you've not done so much well, if the changes aren't going to be as dramatic, but May is really about creating your future, creating that abundance that you've sought. And that can be in, you know, this this is for all areas of your, your, your life, you know, your health, your love life, um, relationships, work, home, it's all air, financial, it's all areas of your life. So it really depends on, you know, do you want to um, work on one aspect of your life or do you want to work on all of them you know it's up to you but by May you'll start seeing those results you'll you'll start seeing the results of your efforts you'll start seeing um, results in how, what you've been doing and how you've been working so I really like that let's have a look at getting more information on that so May you're going to start seeing results it's an energy of seeing results of your um, abundance growing your your 
you know, abundance in all things, you know, it depends on what, what you're you're wanting, what you wanting to bring those changes in, but you're going to start seeing results in May. But you know, this you've also got the devil card. This is the the card of caution. The card of caution. So be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Okay? So really ask yourself the questions. Are you doing this for the right reasons? Are you doing it because you want to do it, because it's good for you, or are you being manipulated into it? Are you doing it to try and hold on to someone or something that is manipulating your choices, that emotional manipulation? We're only manipulated as far as we allow ourselves to be manipulated. Nobody can control us like that. We make our own, we're free to make our own choices and decisions. Ask yourself what it is you're seeking and why you're seeking it and is it for the right reasons? Is it for you? Is it for your growth? Is it for your betterment? There's your word of caution. Things will be coming in for you in May and so just stop, slow things down and have a look at is this where I want to be heading? Is this what I'm wanting? Because it prepares you for June. What a fantastic six months you're going to have, my lovely Taurus. You've got the world. So you do reach a point, you really need to ask yourself the hard questions of what's driving you, why are you wanting to do these, bring these changes in, why are you pursuing these particular opportunities? Is it because you, in your heart of hearts that's what you want or are you doing it to please somebody else, to show somebody else that you can can achieve something rather than doing it for yourself? Um, are you being manipulated? Are you doing it to gain something from somebody else? Ask yourself the difficult questions because in June, you've got the world here. So, you know, really all possibilities are open to you. So keep them real, keep them true, honour the self. In making those choices do it because you want to do it you want to bring in these changes and then you're going to get those changes because you've got the world the world is your oyster all opportunities are open to you all, all potential is there for you to achieve your dreams to achieve the goals that you were setting in January so really think clearly in January set those goals doesn't matter how many you set doesn't matter what they are just create your wish list, create your goals because the opportunities for them to unfold will will go will work through the year and by June you will really be in a position of having whatever it is you want because look at this, what a great month. June's going to be a really good month for you energetically. You've got strength, you know, you're strong enough to really achieve whatever it is you've wanted to achieve. Um, take it on. You're going to have this strength to take on whatever it is you're wanting. You're going to feel really confident. You're going to feel really solid. Um, you're going to feel really capable. You're going to feel really driven in, in June. Fantastic first half of the year. So let's have a look at the second half of the year. Okay, so the second half of the year is the four of coins the four of coins in in july you're going to really be a the um financial um, abundance is going to start coming in you're going to start seeing improvement in your situation financially you're going to start seeing it come through for you and it's about filling the coffers, you know, okay, I've got this, you know, I'm, I'm getting this, you know, all this hard work's paying off, these changes I've brought in are paying off and so it's going to be a month, a financial month of seeing financial improvement around you. Uh, for some of you, I mean, it's, a, you know, to me, Pentacles Coins, is it's about abundance and for some of you, it's filling the coffers with self-love, with love from somebody else, being in a relationship, um, health improving financial gain but I do feel like for many of you it's going to be you're going to start seeing an improvement in your financial circumstances um, where you, you're filling the coffers and for some of you it's uh, the energy is that of well I'm going to keep it there for a rainy day I'm going to really save my pennies I'm really going to save what I'm earning and and 
um, be mindful of where I'm spending it, but it, they do fill up. For some of you, it's just watching your you know, bank balance grow. So it's going to be a financial month in July for, for you, Taurus, um, and really seeing that improvement in um, your financial situation, which I really like. Okay, fantastic. It's going to be new. It's, this is the ace. Aces are always new beginnings, new beginnings, new learning, um, new opportunities. It's learning. It's it's. This is air sign. It's about the mind. It's about thinking. It's about learning. It's about seeing things differently, feeling differently about things, um, so that there's opportunity here to feel differently about your finances. Um, watch them grow. Uh, you, you know, this is going to be a new beginning for you as far as your finances go in July, which is really always welcome, isn't it? That's fantastic. Absolutely. Your year's going along really well and it's about time for you, lovely Taurians, too, that things start to, uh, I, you know, what I want to say to you is I'm really feeling like your energy has um, unstuck the wheels are turning now and there's a movement forward there's a movement forward a reflection of what you've learned in those difficult times taking with you the um, lessons that you've learned how you've changed and moving forward with that to create it's almost it's it's like I want to say to you you're entering this new phase from 2019 there's a new phase coming this new chapter coming for you so make sure it's clean and it's the set the intention and and move forward with it because it's fabulous here you've got the um the eight of wands the eight of wands are wonderful aren't they it's about um so august is about um change coming in feeling really good pursuing your passion pursue, pursuing your your creativity uh, for some of you for some of you it's creativity for some of you it's just your passion it's about take, uh, new horizons, new and the horizons, new horizon is new opportunities, new opportunities. Um, you know, you're able now to to reach your potential and and soar. Look at the birds, you know, flying high. Um, it's about reaching your potential in August. It, and I want to say to you too, I'm also feeling like it's an energy of being in charge of your own destiny rather than being, you know, um, pushed about from one end to the other by, by circumstance. You now take charge of it and you drive it. You, you, you find your purpose. You find your passion. Uh, there's a real drive to um, move forward, to plan, to um, create what you want to create absolutely in August and it's also about don't forget to be balanced temperance has all the aspects you know your emotions earth be stay also be grounded as far as as well as be emotional be in touch with that there's new learning there's um taking action as in the swords so all the suits are portrayed here but they're all in balance they're all in balance. So make sure that you remain balanced. Do things that bring in that balance so that you can see the big picture, so you know how to move forward. It's going to be a lovely calming energy for you in August. I like it. That's, I really like that. That's really lovely. September. Playful energy. The Six of Cups. It's a playful energy. It's about being childlike. Don't forget to play. Don't forget to have fun because that re-energizes us. That re that that gives us this energy and this um, feeds the soul to find the joy in the simple things. So don't be so distracted. Don't forget to smell the rose. Stop and smell the roses, as they say. Good old-fashioned term saying. Um, it's it's about having fun in September so don't forget to do that don't forget to stop and hey let's have some fun while the sun shines let's you know let's have some let's do something that's 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 fun that's living in the now having a break so September is a month of having a break 
from from all this work that you're doing, all this progress that you do, fabulous fun doing it. But it's nice to recharge the batteries. You're going to feel like you're needing to recharge your batteries in September. Let's just uh, take a break. Let's just slow things down. Let's go on a holiday. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this. Gee, you've got great cards. It's just opportunities are going to be there. It's it's about you. It's about recharging your batteries. It's about, um, I'm also hearing, which is really, it's about, you know, while you're having fun, while you're living in the now, while you're, you're playing, don't forget to play. You're also going to reconnect with what you wanted as a child. What, what were your goals? What were your dreams? What did you want to be? Um, you're going to reconnect with that. And that's going to be really positive. The sun is a really positive card. I like it. It's the most positive one in the deck as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's, it illuminates. You know, this, with the sun, there's growth. There's warmth. There's, it, it feeds the soul. It, it generates energy for plants to grow, for pe humans to grow, for life to, to be reborn. It also illuminates every aspect so that you can see very clearly what's ahead of you so it's it's really um, a wonderful card to get and so in August while you're taking your break while you're just taking time to meditate taking time to think taking time to reconnect with with your your dreams when you were younger what what were your goals what were your ambitions and also about living in the now and having fun just have fun in August, which is going to be really, really good for you. You've then got the Seven of Coins. So come September, the first half of the year was quite active. Is quite active for you. Come September, July, August, October. Sorry, this is October. So come October, you're going to be sitting there reassessing what you've done, reassessing how far you've come, reassessing how things are progressing through the year. And there's not a lot that you need to do that you're going to get feedback, you're going to get rewards, you're going to get rewards on the efforts that you've you've put in. And obviously, again, you reap what you sow. So the more that you have used this energy to bring in these changes that you desire, um, the the better position you're going to be in in October when it's time to really um, reap the rewards of your efforts. And that's what you're going to be seeing in October, a real reward of your efforts, which is really interesting. You've got another pentacles as well. You've got the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. That's again your sign, you know, that's you sitting pretty. That's you really, and that can be male or female, the queen. So it's you really being in a position of being very strong, but also being nurturing, uh, being open to change, um, being in a position of, you're going to feel quite comfortable in October. You're going to be quite comfortable in what you've created, what you've, what you've manifested and worked on and brought to you by October, you're going to be in a position of um, being able to appreciate beauty, luxury, the finer things, you know, whatever it is you want, you know, love, um, whatever it is for you. But it's August, is October is going to be, I'm getting all my months backwards, aren't I? October is going to be a really good month for you in just, you're going to feel really positive you're going to feel really good november november is going to be a time of making choices and decisions there's choices and decisions there for you to make in in november it's going to be a, a, a month of um, decision making so it's a month of decision making it's a month of where do i pro progress from here where do i go from here what am I leaving behind? What am I taking with me? Um, which door am I choosing? Which opportunity am I choosing? Which path am I choosing? So be, it's a month of decisions. November is a month of decisions. And you know, October, November, December really set you up for 2020. 
2020. Doesn't that sound scary? 2020. So really you see that you, what you're laying in the last three months, October, November, December, is really a glimpse into what's ahead for you in 2020. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be signing of documents. It's going to be uh, some legal legal aspect, legal things, and it can you know it's going to be for some people it's it's you know settlements and and legal big legal situations. For others, it's signing of a contract, purchasing could be purchasing a new home, could be leasing a new property. It could be you know many different things. Um, it could be signing a marriage certificate, it, you know, many things, different things for, for different people, but it's about choices. It's about choices, which path are you going to take and signing of, it could, there could be some signing of legal documents, legal papers, um, you know, getting a passport. It's going to be different for all of you. So then we've got December and in December, you've got the Queen of uh, Coins, Pentacles, again, you you know, um, you, I'm using two decks here, so that's why you're getting it twice, you know. You got it in October, you've come back in December. And so uh, you are going to be sitting pretty in December. You are really going to be sitting pretty in December. You're going to reflect back on the year and you're going to be very, very pleased with yourself. You're going to be very pleased with what you've achieved and how far you've come and um, what you've done. You're going to really be quite in a really good, you're going to be in a really energetically a very happy, very peaceful, very satisfied energy around you. I like it. I like it. Let's see what more detail I can get. You know, you're in a position of really being able to manifest, really being able to create, really appreciate, this. there's an appreciation of where you are at, how far you've come, what you have around you. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. This one's fallen. Okay, it's also a time of reflection. What no longer serves you needs to be released. Um, and that could be behaviours, ways of doing things. It could be someone, friendship that no longer serves you, people in your life that no longer serve you. And so it's about really, um, and, I, and I don't feel like that's a really big thing because it's, it's, You've got this where you're feeling really confident and in control of things. And so this is something that you're wanting to bring about. It's not something that's happening to you because there's things that you're wanting to move on to. So allow that to let just release that so that you can move on to um, the future, better things, better things that lie ahead for you. You are in, because it's with this card, you are in control of this decision making process. It's something that you've decided and it can be behaviours. It can be uh, the ways you, you've been thinking about things and looking at things and having a turnaround and leaving the past behind where it belongs and turning around and facing the future that's ahead for you. So I really like that. I hope that you find this uh, useful for you for 2019. It is a general one, general reading. So, um, but it will give you a breakdown of what energy you're working with, with month to month, so that you can make the best of 2019 in moving forward. Also, if you would like to have a personalised yearly reading, I'm offering that to my subscribers between the uh, month or in during December and January only. Um, so you go to my website, you can book a personalised yearly reading from there, offered only between December and January. So I wish you many, many blessings and a wonderful, prosperous and happy 2019.